Uh, welcome to Canine Corner. Uh, we're here with another episode. Uh, I'm Eli Grasham. I'm your host, and we have over here the kennel with two great people over here. We have Carlos Lopez. Tuesday, Tuesday. And Tessa Stefanatis. What's up, brother? I already said that one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna kick it, kick, kick it off here uh, with with a little topic. That was really uh, big last week, so big that we got a day off of school for it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about the eclipse here. Now this was a this was a big moment. This was really cool. Yeah. I got like two minutes of totality. Yeah. I traveled a bit for it, only like twenty minutes, but like it was still it was Yeah, I know here in Frankfurt it was divided like literally like down the middle of town of who got ninety nine percent and who got a hundred percent. I'm pretty sure where I was at we got ninety nine, but it was still really cool. It was like sunset hours it didn't get like dark yeah dark but it was did you guys keep your dogs inside your pets inside yeah. oh it we kind of made it a joke in my family even before nah, it started. That's, that's not funny no 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 it was it was it was it was funny <laughs> because we had the dog outside and my mom was like stop her she's looking at the sun she was like literally like asleep <laughs> well uh it, it, was, it was really cool just noticing every little bit of it noticing how it would uh get colder, mm -hmm. shadows would get sharper, it gets slightly darker, yeah. and then by the time that you almost got there, like when you were waiting for that moment, it was like you were on a different planet. Right. It was super cool, the, like the, the sun and the, the moon, it was like crystal blue yeah. when it was happening, where I was, where I'm Did at my house. Did you see any uh, like flares, like solar flares? Really? Yeah. I just saw, I just saw, we saw a couple. I just saw Venus, blue. Jupiter, just sick stuff. So that was like huge, uh, but you know what's also huge? The Indiana Fever selecting Caitlin Clark with the number one overall pick in the WNBA draft. So for real. We have the yeah. big three now. Yeah. 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 Halliburton, Ant, uh, Richardson, and uh, Clark. Caitlin Clark. She, there's been a big debate on social media about like she's only making like Dude, 70K this year. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's unbelievable. Because yeah. she, she but, at least, she's bringing so much viewership. But you know, a lot of people are talking about like, a, oh, well, uh, she could have made more money in college. That's not true. Those sponsorships are still there. She's still a state farm athlete. She's gonna get a shoe deal soon. And she's she's got a partnership with Gatorade and it, all that. It is, so. It, yeah, so that contract really doesn't matter. She's gonna live yeah. on endorsements anyways. Yeah. So. Most NBA players don't live off their contracts. Yeah, they live off endorsements because that's where the real money is at. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, speaking of NIL, we're gonna talk about a, a big boy who has none. We're gonna be talking about Zach Eady and the Purdue Boilermakers. He's from Canada. He can't. He can't get any. He can't get it. No, Unless he can't. Canadian products. This was a a big moment in my life that happened on the same day as the eclipse. So it felt like it was weird. It felt like it wasn't <laughs> real to be there. Uh, and then I really wish it wasn't real. Um, with how bad it ended up being. It but was of really course, tragic. I, I think it's less that we were bad and more that UConn was just so phenomenal. We didn't play our best game, and we needed our best game and their like medium tier game to win. Mm -hmm. We would have loved their worst game, where they couldn't shoot. Yeah, anything. their front guard, both their their top guards had at least fifteen points. Yeah, so. and they were only like two for fourteen from three, but they were it, it didn't it didn't matter. They just destroyed us. They had Edie beat them, and that was a strategy. They, yeah, they try to get stop Edie. the guards. Yep. The guards are much easier to stop than Edie. Yeah, way easier. Well, we're going to swing it over to our guest segment. We're going to introduce our special guest, Mr. Martin Hale. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? The flyest <sighs> assistant principal. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Don't tell Mr. Lupke you said that. <laughs> yeah, he well, wouldn't watch this anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, how are you doing today? Doing well. How about yourself? I'm I'm doing great. I uh, I just got my cap and gown and I'm I'm up there. You know, oh, I'm yeah, I'm high. Yeah. Are we at 25 days? 20, 25. I think it's I think it's 25 there. or I've been counting down. So it's like 25 okay. or 26. Well, don't be too excited to leave. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, not really like counting down, but like ever since that Miss Long said it, I was like, well, now it's gonna be like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, getting our cap and gown is like I. We were talking to one of our friends about it that sit at the lunch table, and it was like it didn't it didn't really set in until it's like you're holding it and you're like, oh, I'm about to graduate. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's physical now. It's yeah. like I can feel it. I yeah. saw you rocking the uh, the cap, the mortarboard out there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to kind of wind it back back into our intro segment. We started talking about. It, and we're going to keep talking about it. Purdue basketball. We know you're a fan. Tell us about the game, the takeaways from not just the game but the whole tournament run. 
you know, it, it was fun to be a part of. Um, you know, I, I've obviously loved to have seen them won. However, um, you know, I'm just excited that they got to the Final Four, um, something that hasn't been done in 40-some years. Um, and then 50 year, 55 years since we've made the national championship, championship game. game. Yeah, absolutely. 0-2 oh, now, but that's okay. We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're one step at a time. Every one school step at a time. hasn't won it until they have. Yep. So yep. I was really unless hoping you, unless it would. Unless you're and winning back-to-back. I know. Well, yeah. I was hoping we'd pull the, the, the no. Virginia of getting knocked out at 16 and coming back the next year winning. That's what I yeah. thought. You know, I, I was really hoping that would go in our favor. But that's all right. You know, we still make it the Final Four to the national championship game. At, uh, I like to think that uh, Painter and the whole Purdue program has now, like, broken the seal. And yeah. it, m there's more to come, and this won't, this I do won't give, be the last I do give time. Purdue this. Matt Painter is probably the best head coach out there. He's been to... He's been to, in a short time, Purdue, he's been to a lot of NTA appearances. I, li I yeah. like, he, he develops players, you know. Yeah. You, you take Zach Eady, who, yes, he's just a tall guy. However, you're a three-star athlete, and you win two National Player of the Years back-to-back. -back yeah, you player know development. I mean? So he, yeah, player development is yeah. it's just for him. I mean, we've won, like, back-to-back -back Assistant Coach of the Years because of our big, big man development mm -hmm. program. Absolutely. So that's, Absolutely. It's really good for the Purdue program, and it's going to keep just Look keep forward going. to seeing what happens next year. Got a big class coming in, so. Yeah, I'm very excited for those players. Uh, well, speaking of schools, we know you spent some time teaching, and you had a little, had a little creature in your room. Tell us, <laughs> tell us about that creature. Yeah, uh, 13 years I taught at the middle school, um, and I had a snake. Um, the, the story behind the snake is that um, the Humane Society reached out to me, and they had taken this from um, somebody who had burnt the snake. Um, I don't know if it was a... Yeah, like, when, I, when you say burnt, I can't, like, did they burn the tail? They burnt the skin. Like, so, I mean, you... Imagine exactly what a burn would look like on a human, where the skin's all wrinkled up and stuff, and that's exactly what it was. It was kind of like twisted. The whole and, mm -hmm. part? Nope, just just a section of oh, okay. of the snake. Got it. Um, I don't know how you do that. Snakes are long. And, the only and thing I could think of is maybe um, putting a heating element in there, and it oh, yeah. got up next to it yeah. or something. I don't yeah. know, but yes, it it definitely. And even through the shedding process and stuff, because I had it. As I mean, he was about like this. I had it for 12 of my 13 years there. I got him when he was about like this, and when I left, he was oh, he was probably four or five foot, and he still had the 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 mark. It never, yeah, never shed it. Didn't do anything. So I I couldn't be able to work with snakes. I held a snake once, and that was that was it for me. I think I've I think I've had my fill. With my snakes. sister used to have a snake. So. I don't even like worms. You don't even like worms. I don't like worms. <laughs> don't have yeah. arms. A don't lot have of kids. Legs. A lot of kids were were freaked out by it. I used to, uh, like when we do labs and stuff, I'd wear like a lab coat or whatever, and I'd put him in the pocket, and he would sit in the uh. pocket, like curled up, like like a ball. He was a ball python, and that's where they get their name from. But he'd curl up, and he'd just lay his head out over the top of the oh. thing, and I'd keep him. I'd walk around school with him. <laughs> I'd walk into cl that's other awesome. classes and stuff with him. Yeah, he was. It was a cool. He's like, uh, what's in my pocket? Yeah. It's just my ball python. <laughs> I got my snake. Yeah. Got that snake on me. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to move on now. Uh, we have another topic here. We're going to talk about your frugality. Your, your, we've heard that you're big into all the fast food apps. I, I am very frugal. I don't like to pay full price for a meal if, if they're going to give me a discount on it. Yeah. So I just respect. Do do you think your family ever gets like annoyed when you guys go like out to eat and it's like it's time for the pavement like, and you're like, hold on, let me get out my report. No, because I feel like I feel like my kids have uh, adopted that. Oh yeah. 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 I, mean, I have a shit from my parents. My, my <laughs> I can say my my son absolutely I know, downloads a big, every app. Uh, yeah. Big restaurant app. I right mean, there. I think s saving money is something that every generation can, can get behind. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I so personally why? use them too. Maybe not as much as like, I don't use it like every single time because sometimes I just don't want to bother with it. But yeah, no, I, every time I you mean, go to the McDonald's, I hear, "Are you a rewards member?" Yeah, code. <laughs> <laughs> I use it every. I mean, I I make my dinner decisions on 
<laughs> which which, which have has the most, yeah. <laughs> which has the most I mean, points. I I don't think I've just rolled up to a drive-through to order in a few years. It's if I'm going to get fast food, it's it's through the app. I'll I'll, I'll pull up to the drive-through. I'll be like, yep, I got a mobile order, and then it's easy. You yeah. know, it's it's yeah. much easier this way. I don't yeah. even do, I don't even go to the drive-through. I just curbside, curbside it. And so my dad bring it out to curbside me. Curbside those like always broken. For me, like that never works properly. Yeah, I'm like, happy that they moved our curb curbside. curbside spots back. They had it like right next to the drive-through <laughs> lanes, yeah. and that made it impossible to pull out. Uh huh. So I'm I'm happy that they finally fixed that. Yeah. And got more than two. Yeah. 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 All right. So we know that you are a very well-traveled person. Can you tell us about some of your travels and some of your favorite spots to end up? Yep. I have been. Um, been to all kinds of places. Um, been to Greece, Italy, France, England, Ireland, uh, Japan, and China. Probably my favorite place would be Japan. Mm -hmm. um, very clean, very well taken care of, very respectful people there. Um, worst place I've ever been to is China by, yeah. by far. It's, by uh, far? Yeah, very dirty. Oh. Yeah, very very dirty. The difference is stark, even though it's it's just across the uh -huh. just across that sea. Uh huh. It was. Uh, I don't know. I I wouldn't. I would never go back. I had a hard time eating there, um, because they eat parts of the animals that. Yeah. I don't typically eat. Yeah. Like chicken's feet. Ooh. Yeah. It's and to watch somebody eat around the 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 toes yeah. of a chicken, oh, it just it's. Yeah, I don't know about all that. It's. It's Disgusting. that culture shock. It gets it, you. It, it absolutely is. I mean, I was I was in awe as they were sitting there eating. You just kind of look at them like, "What in the world is happening here?" So. Yeah. And then they look at you and they're like, "Why is this?" Yeah, I'm like, "Where's the man rice?" Looking at me. I need the rice. Yeah. So was the food in China not the Chinese food that we? No, it is yeah. absolutely not. It was uh, <laughs> like I said. It was it was the chicken's feet. And again, I ate with. Um, I went over as a Purdue trip and and ate with like dignitaries over there and stuff like that so it was more exotic but it was like duck tongue and chicken's feet it was stuff that uh, it just weird yes it's weird yes, it's not your typical not, orange chicken or uh yeah you know something like that Absolutely definitely doesn't not. fit the american palate no no <laughs> no all right well we are going to send it to break here but after we come back we will have probably my favorite segment the fast five with the kennel we'll see you in a minute minute Aaron's Flooring, a family-owned business and your number one source for all things floors. We're dedicated to providing a wide selection of the best products. Aaron's Flooring has flooring experts on hand to help you determine your next steps in the buying experience. For all your retail and commercial flooring needs, we have products to help achieve the look and feel you desire. Stop into our Frankfurt showroom to view our wide selection of the highest quality products and services. Contact us today for a free in-home estimate and let us turn your house into a home. Thank you for that break. And uh, it's the Fast Five where you got, we're going to give you a question and you got five seconds to answer them. Okay. So. All right, so I'm going to hit you with your first question for your Fast Five. Uh, we have heard that you're a big fan of the local Milky Way. So what is your favorite item to get at Milky Way? Quarter of vanilla Coke Light Ice. Oh, oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. I know this one's going to be a hard question. Who's your favorite kid? Mm. There's a lovely <laughs> picture of them back here if you want to hey, look. I love each one of them. Um, Carson and I are a lot alike, so we butt heads quite often. Let's put it that <laughs> okay. way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. Oh, right. So wait, hold on. All right. So your favorite vacation spot uh, besides Japan? We have this lovely picture up here the, with the beach and the turtle. Yep. My favorite vacation spot is Aruba. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful place. Getting, getting tropical here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're back on the Purdue side. Okay. So what's the Purdue Mount Rushmore? Oh, I'm gonna have to go Edie, Glenn Robinson. Hmm. Oh gosh, who else would I put up there? Um, uh, Rick Mount. Okay. And. Hmm. You know, I it'd probably be a bad thing, but I like Braden Smith. I really okay. do. I think I think for a guard. Oh, Jaden Ivy. 
No, Jaden Ivey. I, uh, I if, if we're putting a, a guard from this yeah. from this decade or two, two and done. I, yeah. I, I, I'd if, give if it, it to Carson. If it out for the four years, I might. But oh, uh, two and done. I was in the league. <laughs> the best thing Purdue's had in a minute. Uh -huh. All right. And look, and they went All to the right. worst team in the NBA. And to our <laughs> last best five question, that question's going to be Helen Mir or Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Mm. I know, I, I made Taylor <laughs> mad, but yeah. Meryl Streep. It's not the one we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now that we have the Fast Five out of the way, we're going to send it to the studio for the extra special director's question. Welcome to the control room. I am your tech director, and now to your director with the director's question. Hello, Mr. Hale. Your son graduates in two years. What would your reaction be if he came to you and said, Dad, I want to go to IU? I would probably disown him if he went to IU. Good answer, good answer. Yeah. I applied to IU and I, I got my acceptance oh. letter. He and burned it. Right, set it on fire? Set it on oh. fire, yes, lit it up. Yes, he set it on fire and he made a TikTok about it and then people were insulting him in the comments. Oh, oh I was, the comments were funny. The comments were brutal. <laughs> it was, it was, it was that's really right, brutal. That's right, a smart man. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I mean, I'd be happy that he got in anywhere. Obviously, schools, some schools are better than others, but oh, right. yeah, you know what I mean. Right. But, all right. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good seeing you guys. Thank you. All right. What an episode. Uh, we're happy to uh, have been back with another episode. This is our second of the semester. Uh, and we're enjoying it with the new crew. We're, we're really getting used to things here. Uh, we'd like to thank all of you for watching. We need to, uh, we'd like to thank the admin, including Mr. Hale here, for making it all possible. And especially uh, Mr. Taylor and Mr. Sully for uh, helping out along the way. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Except Taylor. <laughs>